What is up guys, Zack Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And wow guys, you guys, I mean, you know me, I'm a numbers guy, I look at the stats all the time. We're going to the shrine by the way. We're going, we gotta do the shrine, I left at this I left at this shrine last episode, we gotta do it. Um, you guys are phenomenal, you left over 13,000 likes on the first episode, it now has over 300,000 views. Um, you know, the, the Let's Play you know genre on youtube is is in a really odd place right now um but this one seems to be doing pretty good and I, I thank you for that ride the winds let's ride the winds let's do that today we're gonna you know i maybe skipped a little bit ahead when i glided into rito village maybe i did and maybe that's okay uh look i don't know how to glide the winds what <laughs> just kidding just kidding it's it's easy right there you go Glide the winds. Just use that. There's a big old fan. Do I need to mess with that fan at all? I don't know. We can just try to glide. Oh, wow. Hold up. Uh. Sure. Sure. Glide the winds. I mean, how hard is that? How hard is that? Did I miss any chests, by the way? Because if I missed any chests, I'm going to be upset. I don't think I did. Okay. I don't know. What are they going to do to me here? What do, what do you think the, the overall challenge is going to be? Uh, I just got to go in a wind pit. <laughs> no, what is this? A wind tunnel. Uh, Sure. Oh, oh dear. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, 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 right. Okay. Whoa, ice. Get me out of there. What the heck? There's ice here? And did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. I'm always curious about the chest, though. Like, where? Look, oh, look. It's. I mean, I could always come back in if I feel like I missed the chest, you know? But. Anyway. Uh, are we just breaking the ice again? Glide. I don't know where it's going to take me. Let's go. We're going down. Whoa. Uh, wow. Wow. I really hurt myself with that one. <laughs> I really, really didn't mean to do it like that. Um, what do you think? There's a chest over there. There's a chest. Uh, I don't know. Let's just go and glide. Glide. Glide, glide, glide. Oh, nope. Dang it. Get out of here and take your items with you. <laughs> I didn't want them. Uh, oh, there's one over there. Now, how likely do you think it is that I can shoot this guy all the way from here? Easy enough. Glide. Oh, my gosh. There's the chest. Awesome. So yeah, I thought maybe I skipped a bunch of stuff by coming straight here, but maybe I, you know, maybe it's okay. I, I let me. I need to drop one of these. Let's drop the one I've been using, sure. And let's pick up the new one right there. This one can also just be left alone, I'm sure. We'll double check and make sure I got the chest, baby. Yes. Uh, where are we going? I don't want to go up. I want to go over to the side there. I think. Right? Wait, where are we going? No, we're going up. We need to go up, I think. Amazing. We pulled it off. And now, um... Now what? Now we're in Rito. The village and I know that they wanted me to go visit someone but I, I know I probably skipped like the newspaper building because that was like supposedly at the entry of this a this area <laughs> I know I also missed Hestu I missed like uh, something else I've been reading the comments you know so thank you for guys for filling me in I know there's also a, probably a light tower around here somewhere that would be beneficial to reach as well um, but you know I skipped over a few things and I knew that if I glided in here that that's what would happen I just knew it so you know it is what it is. Uh, thankfully, that replenished my life. And now I can kind of go back up. 
Is this a good path? This seems fine. I do have a little extra stamina, thanks to the upgrade. There is hope yet. All the other adults have left the village to investigate the blizzard or to procure a supply of food. I believe my husband and I are the only ones still here. That said, Link, the children have taken up the adults' responsibilities while they are away. They have divided up the work between cooking and running the shops, with each of them doing their share. To see the children working so hard gives me hope that we will weather this crisis as we have before. You guys, your guys will do fine. Don't worry about it. I need to go, uh, well, actually, where do I need to go? He's singing a sweet song. Uh, it was between, whoa. Oh, I can pray here, but I don't need to pray here. Cause I don't, I only have one thing. But uh, cool, great power, but only if I have four, I get it. I'm going, I'm going for a heart next, by the way. I don't. I don't remember where he said that was, but I should be able to see it, right? Like it should, it should be out somewhere. Hi. <laughs> Where? Okay. Okay. This is this is fun. I guess I need to go up higher so to get a good view. Oh, there it is. It's over this way, right? Oh no, there's a pinwheel. I mean, I could try to get over there to the pinwheel area. At some point, I'm going to need. Um... No, dang it. At some point, I'm going to need. Um... Oh, what am I thinking of? I don't even know what I'm thinking of, honestly. Oh, oh, cold protection. Better cold protection. There you go. That's smart thinking, right? Heck yeah. I got an opal. Let's see. There's a shrine way over there. I don't know what's going on over here. Maybe there's something if I were to. Can I just... Right, let's take it a step at a time. Let's that fill back up. I know I missed. I, some, I, I apparently missed some sort of a climbing upgrade. Easy. Got you a Korok. I got to see Hestu. I almost have 20 of these things. Bye-bye. So somewhere there was two fires. Is, it that, is that it over there? I don't remember what he said. There's like a lodge somewhere. There also is that uh, light tower that we might be able to might be able to get. I know that I know like supposedly the higher up we go, the worse it is for my, you know, for the cold. I do have like a twelve. I think I have a twelve minute thing, a five pepper dish that will last for twelve minutes. I think. Okay, no, there's the fire over there, and actually that fire is pretty close. Uh, to the lighthouse, so. Oh man, okay, well, to me, it seems easy what we need to do. We just need to fly over there, and so I'm going to take out one of uh, these again. Perfect. And then, alter hand this, so that it's up and way forward. Then we'll just bring it back. And then bring it down. And then I'm back. I'm on it. And then we go recall. Rewind the time, dudes. Let's go. And then once I'm out here, cancel. Awesome. Man, I probably should have brought... Oh, well, if I can just get over here, I think we'll be safe. Because I can just climb once we hit the, the rocks or whatever. I, oh, there's a wizard, dude. All right. I don't know where it went. I could probably fight the wizard pretty easy, honestly. Let's just be honest. I missed. Oh, come on. Oh. All right. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, hold on. Where, where are you? Where are you? Because I got a shield for you. 
And it broke. Is he gone? Did I evaporate him? I got a sapphire sword. That's pretty cool. Um, let me drop the wooden mop, honestly. Let's just drop that. Take the sapphire sword. I think I just evaporated him with that shield. That shield is dead, by the way. And I can pick up some of the arrows that I lost. Um, take, yeah, arrows. Um, let's see. So, yeah, we're almost there. What is this? Is this something I need to break? Like, just jump in it and break it? Huh. There's just frozen water. Some red stuff over there. I need to just hit hit the hit the road and go get over here. Oh, this guy again with a sign. What's up, my dude? You have my support. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here too. I've eaten a special rice ball so I could uh, so I made so this weather, cold weather wouldn't get to me. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. I'll leave you to it. I'll leave it to it. Uh, let's. So this is easy. I mean, it was. If it's just like last time, then I just grab like one of these, and then grab another one of these. Uh, rotate it a little bit. Attach it, and then. I don't know if that's enough. All right, I, th I said it was easy, but now I'm just like, I don't know. Let's, take it, let's get a bigger one. All right. These wedges are easy to do. Here we go. There you go. Now try to try letting go. All right, let's see. I think that's going to work. He's gonna be happy. He's standing. How is the president standing? We did it. That was brilliant. I never would have thought of it. All right, let's let's get him secured while he's still standing. And he does like he does a fantastic job on this. By the way, he just does, does a phenomenal job getting this all back in the right spot. Perfect. All right, great. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. What I get? Twenty. Yeah, red rupees. This is like a job now. Uh, hungry, yeah, give me something. Uh, biting, yeah, nice. Biting meaty rice balls. Ah. Wait, was that cold weather attack? On oh, the premium collection. Oh. Bomb flower, thank you. Oh. All right. And with that, I'm off. Get out of here. I'm tired of you already. No. <laughs> uh, what is that in the distance? Okay. Anyway, we're, we're, we're meant to go here. What is this? A sign. Okay, okay. Hello, hello. Here I am again. Well, you haven't seen me yet. That works as a landmark. Ooh. Hey there, are you here because you spotted the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. Though as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlights set up around the, the fancy sky view tower. Yeah, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll activate that. It won't warm you up like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat for its size and sheer brightness. The Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Indeed, they are. Hebra Trailhead Lodge. What is that stuff? Uh. We found these strange things at the foot of the Hebra Mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? Mm. I've done every test I can think of, but I haven't learned anything. Not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. It'd probably hurt if you got hit with one, huh? Well... I've got all I'm going to get out of these things. If you want them for some reason, they're all yours. Thanks. Thank you. What about these things? These, Mine too. I'll take everything you have. Can I break these? Heck yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they, these are mine to break, but I'm treating them as if they are. Uh, swing your hammer. Thank you. Arrow. There's a little mushroom. A chill shroom behind there. Probably for an elixir recipe or whatever. Um... Excuse, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Boom! Oh, nice. Hylian pine cones. Get my inventory ready. Some sort of a thing to climb there. Whoa. That's a really weird 
banner, like, barely moving. What the heck? Uh, what's up in here? Wood. Thanks. <laughs> you guys aren't using this stuff, are you, Flint? Oil jar, a mild oil extracted from plant seeds. Versatile for cooking, can coax flavors from dishes, also adds fuel to fire. I'll do one of those things. What's up, my dude? Ooh. Link, you're all right. I worried after I heard what you had gone, I heard that you'd gone missing what happened. Um, yeah, what happened indeed? I'll uh. tell you. Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. <sighs> Our feathers are full, dealing with mo a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food and to, or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. <laughs> and all that is ha all and all of that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, but I wish I could do more for oh. you, though. Now that I think about it, maybe Tulin could help. Yeah, Tulin could help. <laughs> All right, you weren't around for it, but little Tulin has developed a way with wings that put the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Teba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. Mm. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with Gasani and Laisa on a trip to find food. All right. I think they were on their way to the Hebra Summit, South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast from here. The cave is past the cliff out, out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Uh. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave, and you'll be on your way to, to finding Tulin. What does this say? Read a book about the Stormwind Arc? Sure. What do you want to read? The, the legend. One day, the winds that ought to blow in Rito Village ceased. Then the heavens grew stagnant and the earth fell to ruin. The villagers looked skyward for a solution. They saw a figure pierce through the unmoving gray clouds and descend swiftly towards them. Believing no ordinary being could fall from the heavens, the villagers called this figure a god, and the gods stood atop a hill day after day, longing to return home to their island in the heavens. The villagers, forgetting their own troubles, tried to carry the god home on their proud wings. Yet... Who could say how far it might be, the place this god came from? The Rito took flight and turn, each hoping to reach that place above the clouds. Alas, none had wings strong enough. Seeing this, the god told the leader of the village that returning to the heavens was possible if the Rito gathered materials. Their spirits high, the villagers set, out, set, set about doing so. The god nodded upon seeing the tall pile of materials. This, they understood, would be enough. The god poured a strange power into the pile, and several small boats were assembled. Cautiously, the villagers boarded. The small vessels began floating up into the air. With the god leading them, the boats rose higher and higher, soon passing through the thick clouds. The vastness of the heavens took the villagers' breath away. Floating islands dotted a clear blue sky. The villagers rejoiced songfully, and then, with reluctance, returned to earth. One day, winds of the village roared back to life. In shock, the villagers looked at the sky. Floating above them was an enormous ship that the god had sent in gratitude. Numerous oars on both sides began to move like wings, soundlessly churning the skies. Air blew across Hebra once again. The skies cleared and blooming flowers rose from the ground. The god had given them the blessing of wind. This arc that saved the village from catastrophe came to be known as the Stormwind Arc. So ends the story of the Stormwind Arc that saved the village a long, uh, long ago. And then what's about what's the song about? Once it got from okay, yeah, stilling the heber winds, the heavens grew lifeless, just as the air blow. Oh, the, this is the song. Just as the air blow thinned, with the word in upheaval, we pledged to help the Lord. A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. Skyward. <laughs> the God ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its winds brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. I'm out. I'm out. That was fun. That was a good read. Good read. What about you? I'm drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, but we'll be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. For example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you uh, so you don't notice the cold so much. We do not have many of them here, but you are welcome to what's available. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help where we can. Thanks. <laughs> um, we have 42 peppers I have a dish here that is a spicy pepper seafood I have just a charred pepper in general but then I have this 12 minute spicy sauteed peppers I almost want to make another one of those uh, so if I can cook then that would be great I, I'm, you know might as well just hold why not why not just do another 5 peppers cook I'll have another 12 minutes just in case I don't know how long it's going to last and I'm going to need to be up there you know so there we go. 
thank you. So now, up we go. I am wearing some sort of warming gear. And then, uh, where to? I, there's that flag. Eventually, it's going to get cold. I sense that we are going to... Rusty halberd stick. Can I... Let's see. What can I infuse this with? Uh, infuse... Fuse with... Uh, uh, sure. Drop. Why can't I take that out here? Why not? I don't understand why I can't take that out here. All right, fuse. Oh, it's already been used. Oh, it's a stick. Oh, I get it. I can't fuse infuse twice or whatever. Fuse twice. What is? Why is this marked? What's the What's the map say about this place? Tulin of Rito. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing that. Don't worry about it. All right, let's run because we need to run a little bit. Um, I'm I'm expecting a monster to pop up any time out from the ground or something, or afford to get a little bit colder. Oh, there's the there it is. Are we going in a cave? That might be the case. Whoa, those are spikes. What's up? Unbelievable. Unbelievable that these huge things are raining down on us. What is happening there in the skies? Hmm? Oh, oops, I didn't expect it to meet you, uh, meet a Hylian here. What are you doing in the mountains in this weather? Mm. Don't you see how cold it's gotten? Our feathers keep us uh, out of the worst of it, but I'm not sure how you can stand in the blizzard. Ah. If you go up farther in the slope, you'll see the Hebra South Summit cl Cliff. My friends are there now gathering provisions. There are glowing mushrooms and fish to be had, which come in handy. <sighs> they keep a bonfire stoked at the cave entrance to mark the location. If the cold gets too much for you, find that bonfire and warm up in the cave. All right. I'll do it. Was there something over here? Or did I just imagine it? No, there's something. What is this? Ice fruit. All right. Ice fruit. What is this? Hylian pine cone. This is a different way. Oh, there's the, the, the tower. I, I'm going to go for the tower first. I hope. We'll see if I can make it. There's another bird up here. That's it for the entrance. A cave-in? You've gotta be kidding me. How am I supposed to get inside now? What's wrong? Oh yeah, well, take a gander for yourself. Yeah, mm. I was hauling food out of there when the entrance collapsed. Now what do I do? I should have picked some bomb flowers from the other caves. Could have used them to blow these rocks away. What foul luck. I hate to leave all that food behind, but maybe I just need to call today a wash and come back tomorrow. Or maybe I'll help you. It's a blocked cave. How hard could it be to unblock the cave? Can I do it with this or do I really need a bomb? There you go. Well, there's one. Oh wow, this is actually really, really blocked. This is like the blockest that I've seen a cave be. Wow. Okay. I'll get that in a second. I, I probably have to. There we go. It's not. It's not perfect, but it's it's open. Whoa! Look at that cave. Hey, those rocks didn't know what hit them. You're amazing. Now I can bring some supplies back to the village. Thank you so much. All right. I need to reward you somehow, don't I? Here, take this. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Another 20 rupees. Uh, Cool. Ah. All right. I'm going to go check if that food is still good. Thank you for opening the path for me. All right. He got to it first. The block cave complete. I'm curious myself what's in this cave, though. Uh, so let me pull out. I'll take a... I'll take one of these. And then I will actually infuse with the rock as well. Just so that I have another, you know, weapon. A new discovery, by the way. 
I'll switch back to this one. So this is one I've been using. You know, this, this is the one that'll help me. I need more bombs because I've... I hope I don't run into any like... Oh, there's a bird in here. Great. Flint. Bomb. This food seems safe. Ah. Thanks for helping me keep our food supplies intact. I'll deliver them to the village as soon as I've uh, packed them up. Where's Tulin? Ah. Tulin, did you need him for something? He's out collecting food at another cave right now. I'm pretty sure he was with Kasani's group. There's a bonfire. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. I'm here to see if there's anything else in this cave that can help me out in particular. Uh, like another one of those things. I know things is super specific, but you know what I'm looking for. The one of those glowy frog things. There it is. There it is. If I can get here and attack him without worry of uh, those arms, then I'll be happy. Oh, crap. I fell in the water. <laughs> Booble Jim, if I could get that thing that runs out of him, that would be good too. But unfortunately, that thing, I get so distracted when he actually runs out that I just don't know what to do. Uh, well, what is this? Arrow, of course, because I use some arrows. Huh. I don't know what's over here. I did see these. Uh, I don't know what good a dead one is. Sticky lizard! I got a couple, <laughs> they all fell down, I think. All right, good, that was a good cave. Good. Now, you know, I'm on my on my way to the next area, though. Is it, wait, there's some fish in here that look useful. Chill fish, chill fin trout. Glowing cave fish. Right to me, buddy. All right. This is a good detour here, I think. Oh, there's another fish. <laughs> All right. I like that they just fall. They're like, oh, get away, and then they just fall. I need to go light up that tower. It's not really a light, I just, but I need to like go do the tower. You know what I'm saying? I need to go deal with that tower. It's just right over here. There's a lot of these brambles. Or whatever they're called. What the heck? Do I, do I burn these? I'm trying to remember what I do with... I think I just burn these. I think. Let me pull out this. Let me uh, attach a fire fruit. I'm running low on fire fruit. All right, that's good, right? We're just gonna set this all on fire. Um, man, they really do kind of make it hard to handle this. I can't get any sort of like lift off on these. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could just jump over this one, right? Awesome. Well, if this one, I mean, I can't imagine this being too difficult here. I do not need a tree branch. I like that the music kind of changes when you get close to something, you know? Uh, what is this? Whoa, wow. Dang, what? Come on. Now, let me go around. There's a lot of these little brambles all around. Uh, I mean, okay, sure. 
This is the, this is the easiest way to do it. So once I get up here, then we'll have a new location. And what's that? Is that a pine cone? All right. Open up. We also get a fast travel spot. This is going pretty well for us today. I don't know if we'll do the, the other shrine next. I mean, probably a shrine. There's going to be another air thing to do. Let's go. Very serious. Let's do this. This was already kind of on a mountain, so. Awesome. So there's a shrine right there to do. Wow. It's kind of dark. Honestly, it's kind of hard to see. There's another shrine. There's a... I kind of wish that he would just mark the shrines on his map at this point. You know what I mean? Surface map updated. Heber Mountains. And yeah, there's that storm in the sky. All right, let's see what's on the agenda next. Cause I mean, I think it's gonna be, uh, well, as soon as it gives me control. There's a, uh, I can barely see. I, I think there's some sky stuff there. I literally cannot see. Hold on, there's this over here. Let's go. I can just glide over here, I think. Okay, I can't. I li okay, here we go again. All right. I don't know the significance of this part here. I don't, I, I'm up in the sky. Uh, this doesn't seem major. There's a balloon over there, though. Oh, that, you know, that's going to be a boss. So that's what that is. I'm not sure I'm prepared for that, honestly. Let me just leave. <laughs> I just don't think that that's going to be what I need to do. Uh, so let me just jump. And then we will glide. Honestly, if I can just glide over here, that would be best. Just kind of get closer and closer to the shrine. I know there's also a shrine like over somewhere. Uh, I am a little lost, but that's okay. I'm not really that lost, but I feel lost is what I'm saying. Let's do this shrine. This shrine looks pretty good. Sorrow shrine. And then we'll go find Tool and see what Toolin's up to. Let's go. Let's go. You know, basically the way I think of it is like the more shrines that we do, the more fast travel points that we get. And then of course, that's the primary benefit is like, well, the more hearts we have, the more whatever we have. This is aid from above. Okay. Aid from above. Let me switch to, a, a, I keep hitting the wrong buttons every time. Let's switch to just a more normal weapon. There we go. Aid from above. <laughs> okay. Can I? No? Okay. I mean, I'm looking at the floor because that's where the lasers are. Is it what? It... Okay. 
Why is it called aid from above? Oh, because this is this is probably gonna be me gliding. Right. I keep hitting I always hit the wrong why do I never remember the buttons? Okay. Can I not go up there? Um, let's see. What what controls this? There's a chest over there, but what can what controls that? I don't know. Aid from above. I have an idea. This might be... No, oh, I cancel that. Hold on. This might be a little crazy. But this also might work. This, again, this might be a little much. Wait, I don't know if I can switch it though. I don't know if I can do both. I don't think I can also, I don't think I can keep, I don't think, oh, I can. Here, grab that. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, I'm an idiot. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I'm close. I think I'm close. The idea is close. So I have this. No. Dang it. Sorry. I have this. This would be really cool if this works. This goes all the way up there. Then I switch over here. I do a rewind on that. I switch over now to this. Grab that. Nope. How come I can't grab that? Okay, hold on. <sighs> okay. This this might this may not work, but if it does work, then it's great, right? Okay, and then I recall this, then quickly switch here and grab that. And that goes even higher. Dang it. See, it kind of bounced in a weird way. All right, so this is what we're... <laughs> Man, if only. Actually, uh, sure. You know what? Let's uh, let's rewind this one. Let's let's recall this one. Rewind it. And then I'm gonna go ascend. Ascend. That's too high. Oh God. Oh. How how, how do I? Can I? Okay. Where's it? Where's it gonna go now? Now it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay. 
man, there there is a there's got to be a way to do this, right? It seems like there's got to this has got to be a way, and I'm just not thinking it through properly. I still don't know what causes this to. Here, let me just make sure it's not something super simple. I have an idea on how to do it. It's just okay. What the heck? Okay, I didn't know that would happen, but that worked. Okay, my idea was to get on this on the roof, which maybe wouldn't have done anything. But and I think I could have done it if I would have spent more time trying it. Oh, nice, a spicy elixir. So, uh, where are we map-wise? Did we get the treasure? We got the treasure. Okay, so. Uh, let's see what's down over here. Oh, God. Right. Oh, nope, no thanks. All right, well, uh, this is a duck one. This one is probably a mixture. Oh, what the? What? 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 Oh no. Oh no. Uh. Oh, okay. Whew. Uh, what do I do? I didn't bring anything with. Me. Oh, ascend. <laughs> All right. There we go. You guys saw what I was trying to do, though. I was going to try to, like, get up on the roof by doing, like, a couple different rewinds and then, you know. But I just didn't, you know, it just wasn't working out exactly as planned. But we got it. We got this shrine done. We're fine. We don't have to worry about it. I was overcomplicating things. I thought for... I didn't know how that gate opened, so I just assumed maybe I had to get get over it, but we know how the gate opens now. When is it going to be daytime? <laughs> it's so dark and stormy over here. Hmm. Horrible. Do you remember that horrible with like the, man, that long stick? All right, it's kind of daytime. Um... The real question is, is that the entrance? That must be the entrance right there. Glide. Oh, my gosh. And here we are. Warm me up, please. Discovery. Didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon. Uh, what with the blizzard and all, I'm here because it's 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 a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? I'm here to find Tulin. Oh. Looking for Tulin, huh? Fair enough. He's farther in this cave with Gasani. They're scavenging for food. No, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye <laughs> on what we've amassed so far. Ah. Be on your guard. There's a creature in that cave that hops around on the walls. It probably won't bother if you stay away from it. Good luck finding. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna find it though. Is there a better way to burn down all these things? Like, is there like? Can I just like? Like, can I just? Ow. Fine. No. No. I wish. But actually, I might have something. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do do I? Buttons. Buttons. Where are the buttons? Okay. Do I have? I have a flame emitter. I have a shield too, right? So this would be great uh, on a shield. If I want to drop just a really basic shield, then actually I don't need to drop it. I can take this. My bad. And then uh, uh, infuse, fuse with the shield. I just need to do it once. There we go. Hello, fishies. I'm swimming with the fish. Got some trout. No doubt. Got the trout. I'm out keep doing this as long as I can. This is an awesome weapon. Or it's kind of a weapon now. Uh, I mean, if I if there's something I don't need to get, then maybe I'll just leave the the bramble there. 
Uh, a lot of rocks here. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. So there's there is a lot of okay. Okay. Well, the good news is that I can just jump down really quick, and I could. How come that's not? Can I not aim that down? That shield. Oh god. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Am I fine though? Oh wow. That's water. Got another trout. What else? Um yeah, these are good. These are all good. I do have a sword that I can use. I can't believe that shield. The shield doesn't last long at all. No, I don't. Okay. Rock salt and amber, and an opal. Some chill shrooms. Um, and then what's what's the quickest way to get back up to the top? Climbing. <laughs> I bet. It sucks because it's like, yeah. Okay. Is there any way to rest? Dude, oh wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna drown here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I stand up here? Thankfully. I'm a little bit worried about how I'm supposed to get out of here. Oh jeez. This is a big, dr I mean, if I drop, I drop into the water, so that's fair, I guess. I'm gonna try to climb around so I can drop down here and take a little break. Good, okay, good, 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 good. And then, and this will be for me to lift up. Cool. There's that thing. I hate that thing, dude. I hate that thing quite a lot. Let's see. So, like, if you leave it alone, yeah, right. I'm gonna leave that alone. Yeah, right. Uh, let me get a little closer though. He sees me. Well, like if he leaves me alone. Crap. Um. Rock hammer is badly damaged. I'm not leaving him alone, by the way. He's gonna be got. We're gonna get him really quick. I, I I might just blow him up, I guess. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, so hold on. First up, I'll switch to like this. This will get him probably, right? And then uh, also, I'm going to put, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. No, don't whistle at him, oh my God. Gotcha, you dork. That guy was easy. Now let's clean up, uh, I don't know if I need another traveler's spear. Let's go back to this rock hammer, which is probably gonna, there we go. And then, was it, oh yeah, bright cap. I'm just collecting everything I see, honestly. I, I mean, except sometimes I skip the animals, because I just like, well. Uh, I probably, do I need to light the fire so that I have a, Probably. Look at all these fish. Let me get back on here so that I can rest a little bit. This is great. Get the trout. Um, so I can climb it, obviously. I mean, it's not obvious to me, but 
Maybe I can climb it. Oh, come on. Come on. Just just chill out for a second, dude. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then where? Two is the next place to grab onto. I need a grappling hook. <laughs> That's really what I need, dude. All right. Let's just go straight up, I think. Maybe. I'm so glad I got that extra stamina. Dude, I, I only got one extra stamina. But that seems to be, like, what does it. I don't know if I could do this without stamina. Uh, without this extra stamina I took. Here, let me... I, well, I already made another hammer, so I'm, I'm okay. Uh, let's see. It's too in a... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Hold on. Nope, that doesn't work either. Uh, yeah, that's what I need. Gotcha. Was not anticipating that happening, but... There's a path that way. And there's a dead end this way. So, this is the, the whole cave exploration thing of this game is really interesting. Whatever. I like how two of them fall. Like, so, are they all dead once I get them? I mean, like... Some of them are clearly dead. What's up? That Tulin. What did he do this time? What are we going to do with that boy? It, it's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Oh. Well, I'll be. What is a Hylian doing all the way here in such a fierce blizzard? You're here to talk to Tulin, huh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. Mm. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm going to follow them back to their nest and flew off alone before I could protest. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Tulin followed them there. Mm. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. All right, so Tulin moved on and... Uh, Okay. I have one of them. Where's the other one? There it is. Whoa, did he dive deep? Oh, that guy's like lower than me. Okay, I'm not sure what the answer to that is. Let's see. So where are we going? I guess we're just getting out of here. And it's going to be cold, right? Doesn't seem that much colder. Oh crap, there's a Okay. Um Oh, there's another sign guy. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um Well, I'll tell you, um If we just if we just hit him with I mean anything. Do we, how many bombs do I have? Oh, we have 12. Easy enough. There you go. One guy is still left. Where are you going? Oh, I missed. Here, let me switch weapons really quick. This one's one of my favorites because it's such a long range. I'm here. I'm here. I'm going to get you. No thanks. Don't grab any weapons. <laughs> And we got a swallow bow. Let's ditch uh, one of these. Drop that one. And take this one. And we'll, of course, grab all of these little things, too. There's more of these spears and sticks and stuff. I keep... I Man, I don't know what is wrong with me. I keep hitting the absolute wrong button. Every time I'm trying to do anything, it's like I hit the wrong button. It's super annoying to me. Uh, then over here is a sign guy. I can't believe he's back already. Holding another sign. But how are we going to keep this one balanced? This is going to be interesting. Let me, there's two here. You have my support. Literally. Um, I, I guess this is going to be me trying to get all these rocks. I don't know if I can move this one. Let, let's see. Oh, I can move that one. Great. <laughs> 
Um. <laughs> let's let's try. Let's try. I may not. I may not have to do anything. Uh, let's see. Try letting go. There we go. All right. What's he gonna give me? So that that worked really well for us. That was that was super easy. I didn't have to craft anything. Uh, so there we go. What do I get in return? Red rupees, of course, and then some rare stuff. <laughs> Uh, spicy mushroom rice balls and puff shroom. Okay, cool. And that's uh, the fuse. I can do a fusing on the puff shroom to do some sort of damage. Uh, all right, cool. And then, I mean, we're so close. Where did he go? Let's try to find out where he went because that's going to... Or maybe it's up here. Maybe I climb up. Actually, I think I climb up. I mean, if you look, it looks like there's something to climb up to. Maybe. I don't know. Right now, it's not too cold for me yet. Oh, great. Um, You know, I could, I could fight this guy a little more traditionally, I think. Maybe. Oh, crap. There's like a whole squad of them. Oh, they're coming over here. Uh, okay. I did it. I did it. I did it. He's on fire. No, don't don't alert anybody. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. Oh my goodness. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa! 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 Oh my God. All right, let me pick a weapon. Hello, sapphire rod. I almost would want the sapphire rather than the sapphire rod, right? Boko Reaper. I forgot all about that hand. That. No, no, you need to. Okay, hold on. Uh, I need a different sword. Dude, he has such a big club. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. This weapon sucks. Flurry rush. Let's go. Freaking got him. Freaking got him. Give me that. I need that. That's an awesome weapon. You're dropping stuff all over the place. Boss McCoblin Horn, nice. Uh, this it's a, it has a good fuse power. Uh, cook it with a critter to make an elixir. So far, so good. I mean, I really probably should start fusing to make things a lot stronger than they are if I'm going to be fighting big boys like that. What are we looking for? Hold on. I literally don't know what we're looking for, though, right now. I don't really need a stone axe. Um, right, let me look at the map one more time. So what is this, Rito? Okay, I'm, I'll am i go look over there. I don't think he was there, though. I'm a little confused at what I'm trying to look for here. Is he just, like, right over here? What? What is it trying to? T why is? It, why am I here? I don't get it. Like it seems. It must be like. Here, just let go. Let's glide for a second. I don't understand what that marker is signifying. What was okay? So what? 
Where is my adventure log, so to speak? What what is it? Uh, Tulu was not the cave. Uh, he left Tebra. Saw someone went towards the lone cedar tree on Tolanto Peak, visible to the north. According, he saw a group of monsters. Visible to the lone cedar tree on Tolanto Peak. Lone cedar tree, Tolanto Peak. Is that a cedar tree up there? I mean, I, I do not know. I can't answer that. I don't know. Let's just look around because I don't I don't really understand what we're going to be doing. But let me just look around because, I mean, I defeated some big enemies. Obviously, that means I need to move, push forward, right? Got a bunch of ice fruit. There's something over here. Whoa. There's a big flying monster. I have a feeling that's going to be... Yeah, that's a flying monster over there. But I think... Is this something to hit? Is this going to be a monster? Thought so. Uh, let's... Let's go, I think. I think we're on the right path to find him. If I'm going to be super disappointed if he isn't up here after all this. The moon's going down. There he is. Toolin, my dude. Should have kept my guard up. Stupid monster. Well, Link, where did you come from? What happened? Oh, uh, you see? That rotten monster took my good bow. Yeah. See? That's the bow napper. All right, well, I'll try to get it for you, I guess. Uh, I've got to get it back. Help me out, Link. Sure. Oh. Really? Thanks. Did you know I, I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you, too. That way you can glide over to where that monster went. <laughs> Just tell me where you to point the gust, and I'll make it for you. Tulin's power of wind. When, Tula, when Tula's aura is charged, you can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. All right. Uh, let me think about this for a second. Well, I know I can shoot him from the sky. Uh, let me just... I don't have a ton of great weapons. I'm gonna drop that. That's a waste. I guess I'll just hold on to, to this. The Boca Reaper, I suppose. Um. Or... Well, I don't know. Sure, let's go. Gust. Let's go. I don't know that that helped me very much. Oh, he's going. He's coming with me. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to grab onto this, so... This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. Okay, yep. Glide. Okay, that didn't work. Take, take me back to the top. Okay. Well, okay. I'm gonna need it here. Let's uh, gust this way, please. Leave it to me. Dude, what? How come I'm not gliding very well? Okay, sorry, Tulin. I don't quite get you. <laughs> oh, come on. Dang it. Climb. Link, climb. Oh my god. Okay, I think I have to let it charge up fully. Alright, let's try this again. Let me get back up here. And then... I think we need to go up again. So, Tulin, you can fly. I cannot. Dang. Oh, oh, no. I need to use the, the gun. Okay. Sorry. My bad. I need to use this. This cut. There we go. Let's go. I feel, I feel bad. Uh, I didn't get it right the first time. So, two. That's a good. This is the lone tree. Can I chop it down? 
Like, oh, it's the lone cedar tree, is it? Can I just get rid of it? <laughs> Goodbye, lone cedar tree. <laughs> All right, let's do that again, uh, except I'll bring in a different weapon. I mean, I don't know, sure. I, I might just end up using, you know, whatever. All right, let's go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe. Is this gonna be like a boss? Uh. Okay. Hey you. Let go of his. Oh crap. How many arrows do I have? There we go, we started something. Oh, that was easy. Okay. That was way easier than I thought. Oh. There we go. I owe you big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. Let's see what happens. There's three of them now. And they're bringing those. There's more of them. All right. Let's do this. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. I got this, right? All right, they're not gonna make a fool out of me twice. Let's go, let's go get them together. Ow, did they, no, that's the wrong button. What, okay, wait, dang it, dude. Okay, sorry, how do I do this? Uh, let's eat a meat skewer. All right, what is happening? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got him. I'm coming for you first. There you go. A falcon bow. Uh, let's see what I can drop then. Let's drop this one because it's worse. Okay. Dang it, dude. Are you joking, kidding me? Uh, how do I keep pressing the wrong button? I keep using. I keep using Star Wars Jedi Survivor controls to dodge things. It's really annoying me. Um, I got a I got a mushroom skewer. I got a charred pepper. I don't think these do anything. Um, mushroom skewer. I'm just eating all the little stuff. That's a big one. Um, simmered fruit. There you go. Which button is it? Okay, he's dead. Whatever. I need to learn the, the jumping move. All right, easy. We did it, Tulin. Good job. <laughs> we did it. Hey, look, I think that might have been a hideout for those monsters. What is that sound? Oh? Hmm, was that the wind? It could have it couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Boy. Hey, Tulin, Link. <laughs> huh? It's some birds. Oh. Hey, birds. Oh. That was some impressive teamwork, you two. <laughs> oh, you saw that hard talk about embarrassing. I, I didn't listen when Gasani tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it, but I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought I, I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Mm. I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. You were right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally got what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Oh, yeah. Funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. I guess, uh, but I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above that cloud. What? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How could that be? Hmm, seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Oh. Tulin, Link came, Tulin, Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared into. <laughs> huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed. Uh. I, got to, I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. Uh. Okay. 
I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way is through the top, but... There's not a Rito alive capable of crossing this stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. Oh. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts of wind. Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Oh. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Teba. Huh. Dad said that? Oh. Yep, and I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time you go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever is causing this blizzard. Huh. No problem. The two of us together have got this. I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra, Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Oh. Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. All right. You're counting on me, I suppose. Uh, there's a rusty claymore, I guess. Uh, Macoblin pieces. I need to get better at fighting. So when you block, which button is it to dodge? You're fighting, you know, you're, you're attacking. It's that button, okay. This is my problem. I keep hitting uh, A, which is not dodge at all. <laughs> so that's a big issue. So um, it it looks like we have a lot ahead of us, and I think that we're going to tackle whatever's next next episode. So come back for that. I won't let you down. It might even be the same day. Who knows? But I will see you next time for more. Goodbye, and thanks for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.